this one is from the maze and actually you can use it to if you don't have firewood here in the village you can use this one to cook ugali hello guys welcome to my youtube channel and if you are new kindly consider subscribing to my youtube channel so guys today i'm coming from the village and i just want to show you some few uh, village life uh, what i'm i'll be doing during this weekend i know i have a lot of uh, viewers from outside our country kenya international viewers like my friend from irish some from russia usa mexico Bulgaria I'm so happy you have subscribed to my YouTube channel and the positive comments that you always tell me on my social media accounts I'm so happy today I'm bringing you also the good news guys we just hit 200 subscribers and I'm so happy for that 200 subscribers we, are, we have like 12,000 views on our channel and i'm so delighted guys so before i do anything maybe on the comment section maybe i just want everyone maybe to say maybe what they want uh, to do maybe some i saw some sub, mom, some of my subscribers complaining that i lose i use a, a lot of swahili in my videos and i don't know guys maybe I should also consider them because they are also our YouTube in our YouTube family. So what I'm going to do is that so I was just saying what I'm going to do is that I think I'm going to consider them in our YouTube family because if everyone can get you clear on your videos, then they can be able to understand what you are sharing on the platform and maybe be able to comment and also share your content so today um, just want to, sh to show you something uh, right now here in kenya in our place it's summer somehow not some not really but it's somehow dry for it's gonna be a dry season for some few months i told you right now everyone is doing is doing it's harvest season everyone is harvesting and from my previous videos you can i, I showed you we were harvesting maize and now i just want to show you how i'm i'm going to show you where we have already prepared land actually here in kenya here in some in some village villages we don't use machines and some communities like using woods to dig or prepare the land for for the next planting season but here in our village we don't use bulls we only use our hands and fork jembes maybe if you have ever heard of that if you have never maybe heard of that i'm going to show you yeah and uh, after harvesting the leaves of those maize we give them to cows and after cows have just eaten some of the leaves the dry leaves they are so important especially maybe if you can find a, a place that may be cool and so that the leaves can absorb some moisture that's gonna be so soft and it's nice for for cows so we don't throw them away or, or we don't burn them and long before we are burning them but right now every community has learned something and they're so we don't even right now in harvest season it's just amazing like we we are now not uh, using buying in napier grass we're just using those maize left of us now uh, to give them to the cows even goats can eat them so it's hard shooting here in the village so don't mind me maybe looking looking to the other sides or what 
sometimes there can be some interruptions and you can't even ignore them so that's why right now i'm just chilling here in the village a home place guys i don't know maybe i just want to show you bananas here in the village we have bananas here in the village maybe people watching us from outside the country let me show you let let me show you the bananas guys yeah this is a live in the village these bananas these bananas bananas guys some communities use them for some communities they can cook them or just maybe eat them when they are ripe uh, with ugali here in our community the gusi community they just eat that banana with ugali and it's amazing i don't know maybe how you do it in your community but you can share in the comment section for so so that we can learn also uh, i had i i heard that maybe even the bananas you can even use them to cook crepes yeah it's just tasty i don't know if maybe you've ever tested a uh, ripe banana or maybe crepes of those bananas or maybe cooked banana guys here in the village is just awesome i'm going to show you some of the bananas can you see them can you see them can you see them like this one it's just not that it's not ready yet you can see so the one that is almost ready is let me show you the one that is almost ready is this one like you can give it some few months and guys did you know something that you can cook pow pow like cooking like a cabbage and it, you can cook it like a vegetable i don't know maybe you've ever seen that maybe one day i should just do a video of that and cook it and eat it with ugali and show you guys i don't know maybe in your village did you, did you know that guys yeah this one you can cook it like right now in a like right now when it's a dry season if you don't have vegetable just go and buy a, a papaw and just cook it i'm just going to show you one day how how you do it yeah so here in the village i just want to show you something again it can be a dry season but you can never go hungry guys maybe if you just want to go to sleep hungry guys what i was just telling you here in the village you can never go hungry like there is always some <laughs> avocado the best village life this one is very small but it's very sweet so i'm just going to cut maybe i'm just going to cut it so that you can see what I've... this is a knife you just have to use a knife yeah you can see it's very you can see this one you just don't have to put salt you just have it have to eat it just like this without anything guys this one in in the village everything is just organic no chemicals everything is just organic no chemicals guys absolutely no chemicals everything is just organic just want to find maybe a place where i can put my phone you see guys organic you 
guys very soon in our community like did you know you can make juice from avocado uh here in our community we have a, a factory that makes uh, makes juice from this avocado and i think one day i should just do a vlog about the place So guys, if you're watching this video for the very first time, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Today I'm in the village. It's a weekend and I'm just... And that's why I'm showing you these videos. Because in my previous videos, I always told you that in each and every weekend, I'll be uploading some village videos for my viewers from outside the country. Uh, yeah and also inside the country so that we can share i can all, uh, show you what's happening from my village the purpose of doing this video today i just wanted to, to show you what i always do in my village and the planting season is already around and I'll be taking you through that how we plant maize that's corn in our village without using machines in other countries. So stay tuned, I'm just going to, to take you to that chamber, the, the farm that we have already prepared and yeah. Before that, I just want to show you something, a fork jembe that we used to dig. The land like, uh, right now is already uh, prepared and maybe I'm just going to show you the place. And the next video that I'm going to prepare, I'm going to show you um, how we plant maize here in Africa. So let me show you first that fork jembe. So guys, this is what I was talking about. If you are not from the village, maybe. Uh, you might be asking what is this you have never seen it before maybe this one is the one that is preparing the food that we get from the village you know people from the big cities don't know that the, the food that they are getting is coming actually coming from the village yeah people from big cities don't know that the food that they are eating is actually coming from the village Everything that they are, they are eating, maybe it's, it's just coming from the farm. It's coming from the villages. Not towns, big towns, no. This is where we, uh, you get that food from. And this is what we used to dig here now in my village, Africa. So maybe if you're watching outside from the country, you can also maybe tell us, maybe you can also maybe do a video and tell us maybe how you or engage us on the comment section and tell us how maybe you prepare your land for the planting season yeah so let me take you there and i end this video guys i forgot to show you something very important yeah i told you about this this one is from the maize and actually you can use it to if you don't have firewood here in the village you can use this one to cook ugali, like cook everything also. This one, maybe I don't know if my camera is clear. This one, this one, you use it to cook ugali. You can use it at firewood. The the leftovers from the after harvesting maize, you are just you can you cannot burn them. You can use them to cook ugali, or maybe warm your water maybe in the village warm water maybe for shower maybe you want to take to take a bath you can use it it's a lot of them maybe i can show you some yeah like this ones yeah you can see this one you cannot you can use you use them again or maybe you, if you just want to dispose them, the, dispose them well you can return them to the your farm and put it maybe across the land and 
it absorbs some moisture so that maybe if it's a dry season your plants cannot cannot wilter off so it's very important it's very important maybe if you can use them also in a dry season in your farm it's very okay yeah so guys maybe it's time for me to show you in the village let me take you to the land hello guys i'm in the farm right now and i just want to show you how we have prepared already the land you can see this is firewood here in the village this one is very important it's it's firewood for the village and something we about this maybe there's a river here and actually about this river it's more than more than 100 years old i think because i just was born i found it here uh, my grandparents they found it here also i think this river is very important here in the village it never dries up it's a permanent river guys and people are just using this water and it's not polluted it's very clean you can even give it to the cows we can even use it to wash your clothes and here in the village i think the water it's very important it's very essential uh, let's say maybe in the here in the village we were buying water it could have life been could have been so expensive it could have not been so easy maybe people uh, people could have been be so dirty maybe because maybe they will just think should we buy water to take a shower or should we just be maybe look for a job and maybe buy food so guys this water is very essential very many people use it and this water maybe it also can be used to generate power you can see guys it's very important I just want to say long like when I was young maybe here in this river we were just using it as a swimming pool like you could just come here in the river make something like let me show you that they were trying to make it something like maybe to close some of the water and maybe make a something like a swimming pool maybe i should just i think you can see from here and make something like a swimming pool but i don't know maybe they why they stopped using it maybe the kids maybe here in the village you can find something like maybe things like snakes in the river and maybe that's why maybe they stopped using it i i think so so long time ago when i was young we always use these rivers to swim and i think in every village they have a stream like this a river where maybe when you are young you always just used to just go to the river swim there and take a shower there yeah but right now i don't know nowadays kids some kids maybe they have just adopted the city life and the village thing like culture maybe it's just disappearing somehow people aren't maybe used to it but when we were young it was just uh, a big moment a big moment like kids from all over could just come and you just swim here in the river so that is it about this river guys you have always been seeing me in this video uh, washing clothes here uh, in the river yeah that's a small story about the river so let me let me take you to the main agenda of this video why i was just shooting this video and that's where i'm taking you guys most of the people even i think right now use this river also to take a shower like um they just feel like maybe instead of carrying maybe a big jerry can of water and maybe and they just consider taking a shower here in the river guys what do you think maybe you have a different opinion 
but here in the village that's how everything is like that's awesome man yeah you can see it's very big it's very it's a permanent river guys i think this river for me it's gonna be here for so many years but i think like it's drying up man as time goes by i don't know why but i think people are just planting so many trees in the river and that's why it's drying up you can see it's it's redu it's reducing it's reducing each year you can see like right now you can see it could even go to that end that maybe i don't know guys can you see it could go up to that end but right now it has reduced it's it's becoming shallow each and every time i think it's because the people are growing trees um almost near the river and the, these trees this type of trees uh do consume a lot of water guys i think people maybe if they just want to conserve this river they are just they should just cut most of the trees that at least 100 meters away from the river so that it cannot dry up yeah guys the next have uh, planting season it's it's ready the land is ready guys I'm going to show you an exclusive video about about planting and it's gonna take about an hour yeah you can see the land this is manure this is cow dung from the cows and it's very important guys I just dropped my camera let me fix it maybe and then continue with me yeah sorry for that guys like here uh, the manure from cows is very important you can use it to plant maize you can see it's very important guys i don't know can you see this one yeah live in the village is very it's so cheap it's cheap so guys i'm just gonna end my video there like like my videos comment and share yeah thank you from the village until we meet we meet in the next video have a nice time bye